OK, we've got a bond enthalpy calculation to do. The reaction's a cracking reaction. Those are thermal decompositions. And that means that delta H we would expect to be positive if we've got this right, because it's an endothermic reaction. Let's write down the equation for how we work out the bond enthalpy. So now we've got to list the bonds. We've got two carbon-carbon bonds in the propane and eight carbon to hydrogen bonds. Here they are. And then over on the other side, we've got one carbon to carbon double bond and eight carbon to hydrogen single bonds. We'll add up all of the bond enthalpies for bonds broken. There we go, taking the values from the table, 4,010 kilojoules per mole to do all the breaking. And 3,931 released when the bonds are made. So now we can work out the value of delta H. And there we get plus 79 kilojoules per mole. And that is, as we expected, a positive value. So that matches with our, our ideas about this being a thermal decomposition. OK, now why the enthalpy change might be different from a calculated value. It's an important idea. The bond enthalpies are only average values obtained using lots of different molecules. And so we're working here with values that aren't specific to the molecules that we've got in our bond enthalpy calculation.